Hello and welcome back to another video of AutoCAD Plan 3D with the experts. My name is Alex Pena. I'm a technical support specialist at Autodesk. Today's video we will be covering equipment, how to create it, modify it, and customize it to your liking. In AutoCAD Plan 3D you can create equipment from parametric patterns or user fabricated models or add custom equipment to a drawing by converting a 3D drawing model from another program. When modeling equipment, you define its physical dimensions, location, orientation, and other details. You can also create equipment templates and add nozzles to be able to connect pipes to. In today's video, we will go over various ways to create, edit, and ultimately use our customization aspect of the program to create equipment that it looks as lifelike as possible. So let's get to it. First, we'll navigate through the predefined types of equipment supplied with the program. The first thing that I'd want to do is select the Home tab, Equipment panel, and then select the Create Equipment icon. Once here, I'm prompted with the Create Equipment dialog box. In the drop down in the left hand corner here, I'm prompted with different predefined equipments and their dimensional properties. What we'll want to do is select the, for this example, centrifugal pump. Tag in the equipment is optional, and one thing to keep in mind is each equipment deserves its own independent tag. Once I am in the Create Equipment dialog box, I can see the dimensions, and as I use the down arrow to navigate through each one of the dimensions, I'll notice that the image on the left hand side changes in according with the dimensions being edited. If I have any questions as to what dimensions I'm actually changing, I can also hover over the dimension and it'll let me know that it's the diameter of the motor, for example, or the height of the conical heads. Next, I'll select the Properties tab. One thing to keep in mind with nozzles and the predefined equipment like pumps have some information already filled in. This would be read only. As I notice here, I can't edit it. Down at the data section, I have more information that I can personally enter in in order to customize this particular predefined pump. For this case, we'll just hit select create and place it in our model. We're prompted with a choosing search endpoint, and once left clicking, I'm prompted with a rotation angle that I can choose based off of my compass settings. In this case, we'll leave it at zero degrees. Now that our pump is placed in the model, what I can do is just hover over it to get more information. As I do that, I, I'm prompted with the nozzle being six inches in nominal diameter. In this case, if I wanted to edit it and change the size, I can actually just left click on the nozzle. When I'm prompted with the edit nozzle pencil grip, I can left click on that. And from there, I'm prompted with the edit nozzle dialog box. From here, I'm prompted with two different areas that I can adjust, the type of nozzle and the location of it. All I want to do in this case is just adjust the size. So what I'll do is select an 8 inch and then prompt, promptly select one of the options mentioned at the bottom here. Once I hit close, I can now see that the change has taken place as expected. Now that we have our pump nozzle edited, let's mess with another aspect of the predefined equipment. What I'll do is select the Modify Equipment icon here on the same equipment panel, and then select the pump. As we can see here, the Modify Equipment panel looks almost exactly as the initial creation of the pump uh, dialog box. And all in this case, what I'm going to do is change this value, for example, from 1 foot 9 inches to 3 feet. I'll hit apply. <clears throat> and we can notice that our base was adjusted accordingly. So this is one easy way where you can take a predefined equipment template and actually modify it to your liking or your needs. Next, we'll leverage the geometric primitives in order to create our own custom equipment. What I'd want to do is navigate to the Equipment panel under the Home tab again and select Create Equipment. Once under the Create Equipment, what I'll want to do is select a vessel 
or any other of these predefined shapes that have geometric primitives already pre-populated. I have the option to add or remove these shapes to my liking. In this case, what we'll do is adjust this torus spheric head. And we'll do the same here. One thing that I do want to mention, again, tag in is optional, but you are prompted with the uh, tag dialog box here if we were to click through. And here we have the option to adjust our dimensions as our image shows or displays. One thing that I do want to bring to attention is the templates here. Creating equipment using these geometric primitives, one thing that you can do is always create a template of the current setup that you have. In this case, you don't necessarily have to start over from scratch every single time. These templates will be saved to your project directory, and from there you can always import them into any project or model that you're currently working on. So once we do this, we'll hit Select, Create, and place our horizontal vessel. Now that I have this vessel created and in our model space, what I would like to do is add a nozzle. When I select left click on the equipment, I have the option here to add nozzle. This will prompt us with the add nozzle dialog box. As previously mentioned, we can choose different nozzles and adjust the location as necessary. We'll change the location to be and select close. As we can see here, the nozzle was added in on the back end of our vessel. Now, if I needed to make any changes to this particular nozzle, all I'd want to do is control and then left click on the nozzle itself. From there, I'm prompted with the edit nozzle grips again, and from there I can adjust as necessary. We'll just select the bent nozzle, for example, and hit close. And we can see here that we've modified it our equipment a little further. Now for the third method of creating customized equipment. Leveraging AutoCAD shapes and services, including meshes, we can create our own customized equipment. What I'll do in this case is just type in mesh on the command line and hit enter. From there, when prompted, I'll select the cylinder, click, and then extrude to a particular height. In this case, I'm not really too worried about the particulars of it. From there, what I'd want to then do is hit the control key, and this will allow me to select an individual face of the mesh. In this case, I'll extrude it out, and then do the same on this other face here. Once that's done, what I'll do is escape out, select the entire mesh, and from there, I'll select the smooth more located on the ribbon. Click it again, and we can now see something that resembles a vessel. When creating these uh, customized equipments, I would also want to create the nozzles before converting it to an actual Plan 3D equipment. Um, in this case, what we'll do is just go through the steps and follow what will be necessary for that conversion process. What I'll do is select the Convert Equipment icon located on the Equipment panel and select the AutoCAD object to convert. Once it's been selected, I can select Enter. From here, I'm prompted with different equipment types. In this case, we'll choose the vessel. This will prompt us with an insertion point. I can choose any of my liking. In this case, I'll just click somewhere in space. From there, we can see, again, the dialog boxes that normally come with the modify equipment. Whether I wanted to add in a tag, it's optional, but all of this data information I'm able to fill in manually as I was previously. I'll just hit OK in this case. As with the equipment previously, we can add nozzles to this as well. I had drafted it in the initial um, AutoCAD uh, phase. I would be able to use that as a start point. But in this case, what I'll do is just um, select the, the equipment, click the Add Nozzle icon, and then specify a nozzle center. So we get something closer to the front end of the, the tank here so we can see the exact output. From there, what I'd want to then do is uh, point it in the outward direction. So in this case, I have my ortho snap on. 
I'm prompted with the dialog box, the nozzle edit, that I can go through and change, obviously, many sizes as previously explained, select any of the particular nozzles that I'd like to um, include in this particular vessel. In this case, what I'll do is just hit close. And then from there, what we'll try to do is just drop some pipe from this particular. From there, we can see that everything works as expected. This was a brief overview in how you can create, modify, and customize different equipment using different processes in AutoCAD Plan 3D. Please be on the lookout for more videos down the road where we go into more customization within projects, templates, and anything that you can think of within the program itself. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.